Hello, I'm Carol and I have been having a blast making these little watercolor sketchbook journals. So I'm going to show you how to make them with just one full sheet of watercolor paper and a couple of pieces of hemp cord. Here's what they look like finished. So they've got this neat little closure. It lets you have a spine so you can write what's in the journal on the outside. You can paint up the cover and then as you go along these pages fold out. So the idea is I wanted to make something small enough to fit in my bag. This is seven and a half inches square and still have the space to dive into a nice big landscape. So that folds out to 22 inches. And here is how we're going to do it. The first thing you're going to do is take a full sheet of watercolor paper. So this is 22 by 30 inches. And you're going to cut it on the long side. You're going to cut it once down the middle and then cut each of those in half. So what you'll end up with is four sections that are seven and a half inches wide. So we have already done that. And here are our little strips. We need four of those. One, two, Three, four. You can see by my stack I'm in the journal factory business here. Uh, take your four strips and you want to make sure that if there's one that's a little bit wider than the others, it ends up as your cover. So just give them a drop, pick out the one that sticks out the most, and put that aside for your cover. Our other three sheets, we're going to do some folding with them. So. If you just offset them a tiny little bit, like that, so you can see all three edges at once, we're going to lay them down, we're going to measure seven and a half inches and make a little mark on all three. Okay? This is not a perfect science. and. Uh, and because they're handmade, they look great if they're not 100% spot on when they're finished anyway. So here's the trick to folding these. You've got your little pencil mark, hold your fingernail there, and give it a fold so it creases right in that spot. And then line up your corners, lay it flat and give it a little press. And now I'm going to use the back of this spoon. You can use scissors or um, they have special tools for this you can go and spend money on but this spoon works great. So we're just going to take the edge of the spoon and press along the edge of our fold so that it's a nice clean fold. Now we're going to take the other piece, we're going to hold this up and we're going to fold this in so that it's just about touching that crease there but not quite. You're going to have a little gap, maybe about a centimeter. So hold that down, make sure it's square. Give yourself another crease. And we're going to use whatever we're making our folds with. And press that down too, so we've got a nice clean fold. And what we're going to do is make three of those, and then we're going to make a cover for it. And there are my pages. Now we're going to make a cover. So we're going to take that one little bit wider piece, or it could be the exact same width as your other ones, and we're going to fold it. And I like to have a nice, generous little flap here when I'm done. So we're not going to fold it quite in half. We're going to take it, and we're going to line it up about an inch and a half from the end piece. So you've got this gap here. And we're going to give it a fold. down. Now we're going to take the insides and tuck them right into that fold. And now because we want our cover edges to stick out as at least as far as all our pages here, we're going to hold that in there and just make a little pinch right at the point where you know that it comes out as far as your longest page. Fold that over, give it a squish, and that's 
one side of our cover. Fold it into our book. Now, to make the little flap that's super easy, you just take a pencil, make a tiny mark right where your book ends. And go over about a half an inch and make another one. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us this cool little spine here so that when your book is finished you can write what's inside on it, stack it up on the shelf and you'll be able to read each spine. So it's kind of fun. I'm going to make a fold where each of those lines is. Do a little pinch so it knows where to bend. Line my corners up and give it a squish. Do the same thing on our next mark. There we go. There we go. Now I'm using 140 pound here. The one of the reasons I wanted to make my own sketchbooks was because a lot of the books you can buy are they don't have heavy enough paper or just they're not uh, they're not the ideal kind of paper you want to use. So this lets you get exactly what you want. Now, after you've made those two folds, you have this longish piece, you just fold that in half. And that's going to be our flap. 